Amics i amigues, benvinguts i benvingudes al sud d'Europa. Avui Barcelona, gràcies a la iniciativa de diverses forces polítiques i socials, ens convertim, de fet, en la capital del sud d'Europa. Avui el sud d'Europa no és només una denominació geogràfica. Avui el sud d'Europa és una política. Avui el sud d'Europa també és una esperança. I el diumenge 25 el sud d'Europa des d'Atenes serà, amics i amigues, una victòria. Aquest acte ha estat organitzat per l'agenda Siritza, l'esquerra radical grega, l'agenda Izquierda Unida, l'agenda Iniciativa per Catalunya Verds i l'agenda d'Esquerra Unida i Alternativa. Però ho hem fet també amb organitzacions socials de referència aquí al nostre país, a Catalunya i al conjunt de l'Estat, i també amb persones, amb activistes de llarga experiència en l'activisme social. Avui, diverses organitzacions socials i forces polítiques de la transformació d'arreu d'Europa es troben a Barcelona per dir la seva, per convertir el sud d'Europa en una proposta política i en una proposta programàtica. La trobada de referents verds i rojos més important dels darrers anys que Europa s'ha fet de forma conjunta. Us vull presentar a tres persones que ara parlaran, recordant-vos també que els que necessiteu traducció simultània, allà al fons podeu trobar els aparells a la vostra disposició. Tindrem l'honor d'escoltar, en primer lloc, a la Leca Casalupú, que ens parlarà des de Siritza i des de Grècia. En segon lloc, ens parlarà el Cayo, l'amic Cayo Lara, que des d'Izquierda Unida ens portarà també el missatge des de les esquerres transformadores del conjunt de l'estat espanyol. I en darrer lloc, ens dirigirà unes paraules de presentació l'amiga Dolors Camats, la companya d'Iniciativa per Catalunya Verds. Amics i amigues, el dia 25 l'esperança comença. El dia 25 la victòria és possible, però avui teniu la sort, teniu la sort d'estar aquí, plegats a Barcelona i fruir d'aquesta esperança almenys per unes hores. Moltes gràcies, us deixo amb la leca. Endavant. And thank you for inviting us and giving us the opportunity to share together with you these moments, two days before the elections in Greece that constitute one of the most important moments in modern Greek history. It is Greece's European moment as well as Europe's Greek moment. The outcome of the election will, with your help, not only change the situation in Greece, but for the whole of Europe. It is through forums and meetings like this that we have strengthened our position, formed alliances, and have succeeded in changing not only the way Greece is viewed, but the overall agenda as well. The elections in Greece are closely linked to and are about Europe's future direction. As Alexis Tsipras said the other day, we must end austerity so as not to let fear kill democracy. Unless the forces of progress and democracy change Europe, it will be Marie Le Pen and her far left, far right allies that change it for us. Friends and comrades, the agenda was upgraded, upgraded by setting forward, forth a completely different perspective of what the priorities of Europe should be and what is feasible. Another world, another EU is indeed not only possible, but desperately necessary. Necessary for the thousands of invisible, desperate, unemployed with no health care and no prospects. Necessary for generations to come and for the helpless elderly, for the immigrants who seek refugee and for the children who are born in Greece but are denied citizenship and a country. 
necessary because in this world of the financial ecological crisis of capitalism, the content of the overthrow of the government must be social, social and ecological at the same time. It must question the dominant model of growth, productivism, the ideology of perpetual growth and accumulation, as well as the looting of the natural environment that undermines the present and the future of generations. Capitalism has developed into an insult of global dimension. There can be no ecological movement that doesn't include the end of capitalism in its perspective. Socialism is an idea based on communal responsibility, cooperation, social justice, and these are all conditions of a society that will take sustainable growth seriously. The new social contract that will be signed by the people of Greece on the 25th is a multi dimensional contract. It needs to address the immediate needs of the people as expressed by the Thessaloniki program. It needs to make people understand that no change is possible or will last unless the people themselves start playing an active role in politics, unless we manage to convince them that politics is not or should not be identified with professional politicians. Big politics for the left is not the national politics or the persistence on the Greek debt or on the foreign investor, investors. Big politics for us is to engage the huge masses, the victims of the memoranda that did not share in the excess wealth. Really big, big politics is to show what that to in Spain with 72.7 youth unemployment or Western Macedonia with 70.6% are a lot closer to us than the Cali or Panorama, rich areas in Athens and Thessaloniki respectively. We are strongly aware that your support and solidarity straighten our position and inspire us and this, gives us, this goes both ways. And of course, your support will be of extreme importance the day after. Comrades, at this crucial moment, we all very well know that if the victims of the memoranda aren't the winners on Sunday's elections, and we are not able to transform the fear into hope and poverty into a life of dignity, then this chance will not be repeated. People have accepted the failures of capitalism as common practice. Capitalism can fail a hundred times, but socialism only once. So it is the duty of all of us in the left, here in this room and all around Europe, to convince the big majority of people that what we are saying is a commitment. Our future depends on the consistency of the actions and the speed at which we do it, on the, and on the degree in which we involve the people and the peoples interested. We all have to clearly state who a government of the left should work for, what the class character of our program is. And to conclude, an alliance of the Southern Europe countries which are suffering the same problems for the same reasons is a crucial step to start of the forces of the radical left and ecology on European left is necessary to create a unified movement against neoliberalism and brutality. We have reached the point where the fight will either be European and global, global or it will not be. The victory will either be European or it will not last. Thank you very much. Good evening, good afternoon. This first South European Forum has a background because we've met before in the European Union and particularly in the countries of the South of Europe, working class, popular classes in the South of Europe are being attacked attacked to all our labor, social, civil rights, democratic rights. So we have to provide a global answer. And the global answer must come from political parties, trade union, social movements, platforms. An answer from all the people that think that another world is possible. It's an all saying. 
but it means a lot. We have to make this expression true by joining our way of thinking, our cultures from different traditions. We have to put in common this necessary alternative that it's urgent to have in Europe and particularly in Greece and in Spain also and in the rest of countries in the south of Europe. So this is not going to be the first forum. Probably there will be other forums like this one in the future in order to specify the different proposals. But proposals are void if they are not taken to government and if they don't have a practical application, if people cannot uh, feel and experience to other people because we have features in our countries and these features have to do with uh, uh, our public debt which is sometimes more than 100 percent our public accounts deficit high unemployment particularly in Greece and in Spain where we have uh, the highest unemployment rates in Europe high interest rates uh, drowning some countries the rising inequalities the um, degradation of environment poverty exclusion with humanitarian crisis that we are experiencing in our countries and it has to do also with the kidnapping of our democracies because our democracy has been kidnapped and we are fully aware democracy is in the hands of those who are the ruling power the oligarchy people we never voted for technocrats from the European Union and common problems are just uh, unfair taxation. So here, having a look at the roundtables, I think we are going to talk deeply in depth about um, things that concern us and we are going to reach important conclusions that we can put into practice in the Barcelona Declaration and other declarations will join Barcelona Declaration in order to be implemented in different states. This is the reason, the raison d'etre of this forum. We have to generate left alternative in order to confront neoliberal policies from the right because uh, some politicians have renounced social democracy and have gone into very hard policies in the European Union. So it is our duty to bring, to give hope to people suffering right now in our countries. Five years ago, we said that we, we all were Greece. After five years, the situation in Greece has worsened. We can see poverty in the streets. I was yesterday in Athens, in Patra, two days ago. It's, it has 220,000 inhabitants. It's an industrial city. And now they have 50% unemployed inhabitants. So this is impossible to move forward. Governments and memorandums have brought the country to a complete failure. And Syriza, the left party, is the hope for people. And it's not sure, it's not certain, but I hope that on the 25th, Syriza can make it to power. Now we are discussing if Syriza will have an absolute majority to rule and to implement the political program and to start the fight against these big uh, powers of Troika uh, who are hampering the development of uh, population. Now the only fear is to, uh, to see how the wages go down by 40%, not being able to buy uh, drugs uh, in the pharmacy or to depend on social uh, help. People, the GDP has gone down by 25%, unemployment 26%, humanitarian crisis unprecedented in history and the biggest debt 
in among European countries. This is why we think that Syriza has to win on Sunday. So as they say, hope can reach all coins of Europe. And in the panels, we are going to discuss about Greece's needs that are related to debt, investment, and credit. We are going to talk probably this afternoon or later on about the latest news. So we are here to show our solidarity with population in the south of Europe, with the working class, with the class that suffers the most, and in order to have alternative and to have more hope. And this is how we are going to proceed as long as we have, uh, we are alive. And I would like to make a couple of remarks uh, at national level, Spanish level, that are related to what's happening now. First is corruption. Corruption is part of these uh, European policies. Without corruption, many things uh, wouldn't happen. And we have known today that Mr. Barthenas, who's been in prison for 19 months, has said that Rajoy knew about this uh, black money from the beginning. If we add to this that the health ministry now said that there was corruption in the popular party. And we have said that in the, the popular party headquarters in Madrid, we all knew that there was corruption and black money. Well, now no minister, no one from the government has resigned. And this is a mockery for the population. It is said that they had 18 million in black money in the popular party, and no one had resigned. So we want the government to give explanations about this. Mr. Rajoy has to explain before the parliament what has happened. And I'm sure that we are not going to be convinced by his explanation. And he, I think he should resign. But we have asked many times for his uh, resignation. Barthenas, Mr. Barthenas, for the um, popular parties like a wolf. You don't know what you have to do with it, if keep it with you or let it go. And the second remark, it has to do with what we are saying about neoliberal policies. This is a plundering. Rajoy is implementing his program, but he is plundering the state against trade unions, population, the general interest of the state. They have stolen the population when they decided to privatize 49% of AENA, which was a company with profits, and they have privatized it and given to their friends so they can lay off people and speculate with the life and the hope of people. So it's a government which is stealing and plundering the wealth, privatizing and sacrificing or putting in danger the development of our country. And I think this has also happened in Greece or is related to what's happening in Greece. And we hope that uh, British, Greek people will vote for Syriza because for the first time they will have a left alternative government which will bring hope to the country, and then hopefully the hope will extend to, and spread to other countries in southern Europe. Thank you. Thank you, Cayo. He started his presentation by saying that this is the first forum, but this is not the first time we meet. It's the first time we all meet so many organizations from Southern Europe, political, uh, green, social, 
uh, associations meet. This is the first time. But it's not the first time we work together because we've been working together for quite a while and probably in recent years we have had to learn quickly how to work together and build up things together. So we started a few years back, as I said, and we've seen that it's a very important collaboration due to the situation here and in many European countries. We have probably the same political tradition, the, our vision of the world, but we share, as Aleka and Cayo have said, we share the vision of the crisis. Uh, we share the idea that austerity has failed that the crisis is a scam. And we share also the capacity to oppose the crisis because neoliberals have designed this crisis in order to condemn us to become poorer and unequal societies. But we don't want this future where fear is a tool the fear to lose our jobs, to see our wedge wages lower, the fear of seeing our children go abroad in order to find a job, the fear of uh, thinking that maybe we won't have a pension, uh, fear of losing our house. So fear is an indispensable tool. And we want to fight back this uh, fear and the precarity that is linked to the fear. We we hear that now things are getting better. We don't think so. Growth, well, growth doesn't bring a social justice, or they are talking also about the limits of growth. Well, we must say that resources have a limit. Environment is important, so. As it has been said by Aleka, we have to take into account the environment dimension, the social dimension. So now we, we have assumed we have paid the financial loss, losses, bailouts become or are enshrined in constitutions welfare state. In the neoliberal design of our society, women continue to be people that can replace policies. And we, with our life, we will continue to be in our predetermined design. We are going to pay the consequences. As it has been said, governments, majorities in parliaments, um, we can talk about President Rajoy, Mas, Samaras, all these people have helped uh, in the development of the crisis. They have used the crisis to implement certain policies. We talk about sovereignties in Catalonia, but we've been taken away the sovereignty over, over our lives and over our futures in order to determine the kind of society we want to become. So we are fighting back against these policies and all these situations. And this is the points we share when we start this first forum of the south of Europe. And another thing that unites us, it's the capacity we've had to resist and to build. First, we wanted to show how this austerity wasn't a good thing, how these policies didn't have the goal to have more fairer policies, but the ultimate goal was to change our rights 
in order to give money to the same people that are getting richer and richer. This is the ultimate goal of the policies. We have been fighting back and we want to build build something, and this is what we can do in the forum, build something. As Caio was saying, try to implement our policies in order to change the life of people. This is why we are so happy to welcome all of you to this forum in Barcelona. Here in Barcelona, the Economic, Social, and Democratic Emergency or Urgency have turned us into more ambitious and generous people. And not only in Greece, we are going to have seeds for a better future, but also in Barcelona, we are going to start and work for a new future because we have the capacity to resist, to fight back. And this gives us the strength to think about new proposals, to give alternatives. Uh, situation on Sunday, you are going to be the seat of other rebellions, but here we are going to start to um, rebel this rebellion also. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Dulos. Thank you very much, Cayo. And thank you very much, Aleka. I think in your folders you have the timetable and the development of the different workshops. Just to tell you that now we are going to start the first block, which is called the model of social and environmental development, debt, austerity and economy for politics, people and the environment, moderated by my colleague Maite Mola with the intervention of Alberto Garzón, Laia Ortiz and Janis Milios. Okay, my friends, you have the floor.